Pisces and Soul Tribe. I'm here for another Pisces reading today. You can have Pisces anywhere in your chart. It's a general and collective reading, so just take the parts of it that resonate with you. Leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a personal reading, feel free to check out the box below. It has my website and my email. I'll be taking Akashic Records and one-on-one -on -one sessions at the end of January. I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for all of your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all of your reflections and for being here. If my energy or my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe so you can know when the next reading does come out. Today is the 111 portal, so you could be seeing 111, very high manifestation day. We're going to get your reading today, Pisces. Divine Mother and Father, what do we have for the Pisces today? For their highest good and for the highest good of all. What do we have for the Pisces today? For the highest good and for the spiritual benefit of all beings. Building your world, creation, expansion, and networking. You could be meeting new people. You could be networking right now. Let me see what else that we have. I'll grab two more cards. You have man holding a heart. You'll be seeing 3345, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Um, so there could definitely be the heart as well. A lot of soulmate energy. What do we have for man holding a heart and building your world? Abundance, okay? And then receive. Be open and ready to receive, Pisces. Whenever you come across this video, this could definitely be for you. But today is the 111 portal, okay? So just be open and ready to receive. There's a lot that's materializing right now. Building your world, okay? Uh, with this, I kind of see like the seven of pentacles kind of energy. Creation, expansion, and networking. And this may not resonate with every, everyone, but I'm seeing maybe someone who's like finding snakeskin outside, like while hiking or something like that. So maybe that resonates with you too. Um, we do have abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. So bless, blessings are coming to you. And you have a man holding a heart. Okay, so there could be maybe some love over here. Um, but it could also just be soulmate energy, which isn't always love. So take it as it resonates. But it does feel like there's a lot coming in. Okay, we have love here. Man holding a heart. This could be you, Pisces. I also have abundance and building your world. Okay, so I feel like you are manifesting what is necessary for you to maybe to build something or build your world. A lot of networking energy. You are in the Nine of Pentacles over here at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what this is over here. Right now it is definitely the time to create... By mother and father, what do we have for man holding a heart, abundance, and building your world? There's a one card energy. What is a one card energy? You do have the ten of wands over here, okay? So you could be clearing burden over here. Why do we have the ten of wands? Shifting your perspective. Um, actually, Pisces, there you go, king of cups over here. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like you feel burdened. Because it has the Ten of Wands. You have the Four of Cups here and the Hangman. There's a need for you to shift your perspective. It does say your supply is unlimited. Which our supply is unlimited. 333. Three, three. Okay. You could be focusing on these three cups over here. Which would be this Ten of Wands. But there's a cup right behind you. So there is a need for you to shift your perspective. On whatever this Ten of Wands is. I feel like it could just be your perspective. And there's actually a lot for you here. The universe is always supporting you. And there's just a need for you to shift the perspective of um, what, what it is that you're looking at. Okay. Or how it is that you perceive this. Why the four of cups with the hangman? The lovers. Okay. So there is a loving connection over here. The lovers is also soulmates. Why the lovers? You have the king of swords. Okay. A lot of Gemini energy. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be you or someone else. Why the lovers and the king of swords? Why the lovers and the king of swords? Um, okay, so a lot of Gemini energy here. You have the magician, two of cups, and then you have the eight of cups over here. So someone could be either walking away from something or walking towards something. Why the eight of cups? What is this? You have the three of swords in reverse, okay? You have the three of swords in reverse over here. This could be someone watching you. Page of Swords. And then you have the three, Six of Pentacles over here. Someone could be watching you. 
Um, there is a need for you, you maybe to shift your perspective. I feel like more of your life, like there is actually things coming in for you. It does feel like someone's manifesting you though. Why the magician? Why the magician? The Hierophant. And then the wheel, okay? So I think someone's manifesting some sort of commitment with you because the Hierophant is commitment. Why the Hierophant with the Magician? The Chariot, okay? There definitely could be someone coming in. They might even be looking at you from a distance. Why do we have the Three of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles? It feels like maybe this person could be actually leaving an old connection. Why the Three of Swords in reverse? The Wheel card, okay? It came out upright. Things are shifting because it feels like someone's coming out of heartbreak and coming towards someone. This could be you, Pisces, or it could be someone coming towards you. That's why there is a need for you to shift your perspective, 555, because change is here, change is coming. There's a lot that's coming in. Um, Oshun energy as well is coming up, so that could mean something to you too. All right, what's this wheel with the Three of Swords? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's someone who wants to come in over here. Ten of Cups, Knight of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Someone sees you, Pisces. I feel like they're watching you from a distance. Um, five of Cups energy over here. They could be... Yeah, you or this person could both be clearing this Five of Cups energy. I do feel like someone else is coming out of a heartbreak and really coming towards you or the other way around. Okay, but shift your perspective because there's this that's coming in. I want to know more about the King of Swords, but it looks like this person really wants love. Okay, you have the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Page of Cups. They're going to come in with like a small message, a small offer, or maybe it might start off small. Uh, it feels like this masculine's actually clearing their throat chakra. Like this masculine has a blocked throat chakra, and they do want to come forward. But it's like being vulnerable enough to come forward and express this to you, Pisces. 707 as I say that. Why the Page of Cups? What's this? Page of Swords, they are watching you and they want communication, okay? Five of Wands, they could be clearing conflict. Um, again, there's some sort of like hesitancy about coming forward towards you. Ten of Cups could also be family, but there's a lot of love here as well. Why the Page of Swords with the Page of Cups? Why the Page of Swords with the Page of Cups? They want to come forward with an opportunity or an offer, okay? I just feel like they, um, Seven of Wands... A little protected and guarded like they have to work through their own barriers or walls again it's like <coughs> and you see that like the throat chakra of the masculine is so blocked look at that the king of cups and the sun card and what i'm getting is like inner child okay like this masculine does want to come forward to you but they need the courage to come forward to you okay i do feel like something didn't work out with them um, or this could be someone new too. Okay, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could be someone new. Mom, what? You want no. milk? You want milk? This person is just letting down their guard. This could be someone new. Okay, and it's like um, almost like an intimidated energy. Maybe they just feel you energetically as well. Okay, why? What's this Ace of Coins? The Temperance card. They want balance, the lion over here, okay? Uh, the strength card, they want to bring in balance. Equal pouring of each other, right over here, okay? They also feel like maybe bringing this to you would bring some sort of balance in. Um, and I've never noticed that on this card, there's like a golden city in the background, okay? Uh, for some reason, they feel called towards you. I do feel like this is very energetic, this is their higher selves. This masculine's higher self is leading them towards you. They do feel a little bit intimidated, um, but I feel like it's like, uh, again, the inner child and the throat chakra and working past that. Uh, they're really being called to communicate, which I feel like is triggering like their own inner child. Okay, but they're gonna come in with an offer. They feel like this would balance things out, whatever that means to you. Why the temperance with the ace of coins? Six of wands, okay? They, they really want it with you. Look at the three of pentacles. They really want to work with you as well. This could be love, could be work as well. Uh, but they really, they want everything with you, okay? Um, Six of wands is also like a public kind of card. You, as you can see, like they're in the public over here. 
and I'm hearing the the song I'm coming out okay why the six of wands knight of pentacles six of cups for some of you this person maybe have had has had commitment 10 10 as I say that so you could be seeing 10 10 this masculine has had commitment issues in the past it almost feels like this is someone who like didn't want to be seen publicly with someone um like this is you them coming towards you would be a big trigger for them because um, it's working through actually all of their fears. Uh, and there's a lot of inner child here too. It feels like this person has been slow to come forward because of that fear of like being seen of whatever that means to you. Um, I do also feel like this is someone who maybe like hid things in the past, 144 as I say that. This person is getting ready to like publicly be seen with you. All right, what even if it's just for say like work or there's a lot of romance here so it could be romance this person has to push back that fear because that's somewhere deeply there um and i feel like they're realizing that but this person is also realizing if they equally pour that is what you will get back okay so this person's realizing if i equally pour with pisces 11 11 i'm actually getting that abundance right back um but they have to push back the those fears in order to even pour onto you because this is something like from childhood I do get like more of like commitment or like the fear of being seen with the knight of coins over here and the six of wands I get one more clarification why the six of wands with the knight of coins knight of wands in reverse <laughs> okay uh, this came up in the reading from yesterday this person I do feel like they have a history okay 1144 uh, they've transmuted a lot knight of wands in reverse this could be someone who in the past like maybe in their other masculinity days or um the days when they weren't on their healing journey they didn't really want to be seen with people knight of wands in reverse if you know tarot the knight of wands in reverse is a lusty energy one two three um so this person part of their fear of like being seen with someone um is because of this 12 12 as i say that and they have to clear that. So this person, it could be the same energy from yesterday's reading, doesn't have to be, but this person is clearing uh, their past of maybe doing, again, like doing things in the dark or like being a little bit lusty, right? Um, and it would take this person to really push past those inner child fears and all of those different things and their past, because they this person has a past. They definitely do. They've transmuted it. And so now they're coming to a point where they're almost ready to really like be seen with you, but they have to move past this because um, that's a part of it. Why the Knight of Wands in reverse? Eight of Wands, why the Knight of Wands in reverse? Page of Coins, they're coming forward with it. They're moving slow though. This person does have a fear of being seen public with you. Ace of Cups over here. Um, this person's gonna have to transmute that and push past that because there's a lot here. Um, and I feel like spirits leading them towards you. And this person knows that they have to push back, push past that fear and push back that fear of being seen. Again, this person may have a past. So that's part of the reason why they may be scared to be seen with you. Not scared to be seen with you, um, but they know that they have a past. Okay. Um, but this person is working through that. And you have the eight of wands over here with the page of coins. There is an offer coming in. This person might be a little bit timid at first. So you should just determine too of how this person comes in. This person has to come in correctly. You know, Queen of Cups, there you go. This person does have to come in correctly. Um, but they're being led by the divine. I think it's very much beyond their ego, which is why they have to work through all these fears because the divine is leading them towards you, right? Why do we have building your network? Well, the, there you go. Yeah, judgment. Okay, and that's what I said when I saw the building your network the seven of pentacles and here goes the seven of pentacles uh building your network and you have the nine of pentacles so just be aware too um yes it's mercury retrograde i do feel like there's a lot of opportunities coming in contracts of course use your discernment but stability as far as this is really coming in right now especially with this 111 portal set your manifestations set your intentions whatever resonates with you because this is here for you um, and i do feel like there's things things opportunities and people that are coming in that are, um, again, it's networking, okay? One, four, four, as I say that. So be open to networking this season. And this person does wanna come in, but um, you either have a past with them and they know it didn't end well, or this person has a past. And so they know if they're seen publicly with you, it has to be the real thing because you, 
you know, so this masculine is just really pushing past that. Uh, why the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, the Star card. You're calling this in, Pisces. Um, King of Coins over here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you could be, just be embodying the energy as well. Ten of Pentacles. All right, right now is the time to really get moving if it comes to networking, creation, uh, and again, building your world. Creation, expansion, Hi, and networking. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Creation, expansion, and networking. Okay, so all like the, 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 the star card, the stars are aligned for you as far as that. So just know if this is what you're doing right now, Pisces, you're very aligned and very supported by the universe. Can I have two more cards of advice? Six of Pentacles, be open and ready to receive. Another card of advice. Hi, Priestess. Use your intuition. The full card. Okay, brand new start. You want a full card? Here you go. The world card over here is a brand new cycle starting 555. Five, five. Um, uh, so just know uh, uh, the new is here. 111 today. The new is here. Be open to the new. Release the old. There's been such a clearing of the planet, such a clearing within and without of all of us. Be open and ready to the new because those things are coming in. Can you? Yeah. Hey, my love, can you please pick a card for me for the Pisces? Mr. Pisces, Venus, Neptune, and... I don't want to pick a card. Huh? You don't want to pick a card? Yeah. And one more Pisces, try to forget. You don't? Okay, that's okay. So I'm going to pick a card. No. All right. So use your intuition and just know that there is something coming in over here, Pisces. Hi, Priestess. Mm. Divine Mother and Father. You might also be receiving insight too as well. So just be open and ready to receive uh, insight from the divine. Rebirth. There you go. Reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality miracles this brand new reality is here for you pisces it's always here for you you are your own judgment you are your own paradigm shift and you are your own rebirth don't be afraid to reinvent yourself as many times as you have to as many times as it comes give life to your dreams right now is a time whatever your dream is whatever your sole purpose is if god has given you a dream a vision there's nothing stopping you at all from doing that 1717 17. I'm going to grab another card. Two more cards. I want to pick a card. You want to pick a card now? Come on. Okay. All right. Divine Mother and Father, what's the advice for the Pisces for this message? I like these cards. You want a unicorn card? Yes, a wizard card. All right. What do, what do we have for the Pisces? that one action and sacred i think focus or action is on the bottom of this deck there you go sacred action and action thank you mister and you just took my oracle cards now is the perfect time to act now is the time take inspired action towards your dreams move forward with confidence the stars are aligned you're so supported and you're so guided um, Pisces, now is the time to do whatever it is that you need to do to follow your dreams, to make that action, or to make moves, okay? You're so supported in whatever it is. Maybe it's starting a business. Maybe it's this relationship. Maybe it's uh, whatever it is, all right? Follow your dreams. Follow your vision. You're very supported right now. Especially when that Saturn goes into Pisces, all right? Pluto's going into Aquarius. Uh Expect a lot to also shift when it comes to the months of February, especially March, springtime. Uh, wisdom, learning, joy, art, music. Why, why do you want to pick? What do I want to pick? Yeah. We'll pick one more card. Uh, okay. You also might be downloading wisdom why, at this why time. Do you want to pick? This one right here. Okay. Freedom. Okay. Yeah, 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 freedom. That's your freedom. Uh, freedom, live wild and free. You can create any reality you want, Pisces. Anything that you set your mind to. It does feel like some of you might um, be taking like a course. You might be learning how to play an instrument, um, art. I know how to do an instrument. Do you? Yes. I got a pencil. All right, so for those of you who are also called, when it comes to like learning something new, I'm feeling like a, a new hobby, but like an instrument, like he's getting, okay? Uh, and I got my instrument. You got your instrument, awesome. You have miracles over here, okay? 
that's what I have for you Pisces if you would like a personal reading please feel free to email me or check out the website in the box below I'll be taking one-on-one -on -one sessions in Akashic Records as of the last week of January I love you all and I hope that you have a great day